Hey, this is Ife of Ife360 TV and today I'm going to show you different ways that I stretch my hair. But before we get started, I want you to hit subscribe so that you can become a growth challenger. So I've already showed you a few different ways how I stretch my hair. And one of them is that I use Bantu knots with some coconut oil or whatever oil that I have at hand. So it might be grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, whatever I have at hand. I run it through my hair, I take out any tangles, and this really helps to stretch my hair out. And then I put it in a Bantu knot, a very tight Bantu knot, and I would leave this for a couple hours or two or three, usually about three to four hours. And usually once I've taken my hair out of this Bantu knot, okay, I've done this with extremely strong, shrunken hair, and I've done this, with, and I do this on dry hair. But in any case, I have a video in the description box where you can see this video in its entirety. Now, the second way I've stretched my hair as well, it's African breading. And I do this to stretch my hair and it's such a time consuming <laughs> feat. However, the results are really good. Okay. Now, to see this video in its entirety too, I have the link below so you can see my full video of my African threading. Okay, within this video, I want to show you what my hair looks like without stretching, without product. This is my shrinkage. People ask me, Ife, do you get shrinkage? Yes, I do. But I never get my hair to the point where I see my hair in this state because it's dry, it can get knotted easily, it can get tangled easily. It was cute for this video, but this is not something I do often. I don't even do, I can't remember the, lo the last time I did this. So I probably do this once every five years now. I don't know. However, this is, I never let my hair get to this point because this is bone dry right now. What I do is I usually wash my hair, co-wash it. And as soon as, okay, maybe not soon, as soon as I wrap my hair in a t-shirt, I let my hair dry out or remove most of the moisture. And then I put my hair into these four plaits or braids or whatever you want to call it. And this is my lazy natural hairstyle. Like I, this stretches my hair in itself. Putting my hair into four braids, four large braids, it stretches my hair. And it also ensures that I don't have to manipulate it too much to get my hair to stretch out. Okay. So this is the other way that I stretch my hair. I stretch it with using a braid, using braids. Now, once I'm ready to actually see what's happening with my hair after maybe three days or four days or whatever, I take my hair out of those braids and this is what my hair looks like. Usually looks like this, but it's still actually not fully stretched. So what I do, I put my hair into a top knot and that stretches my hair some more. So that I leave that in three or four hours. And when I come back and I release it, this is what my hair looks like. It's actually stretched. It's still not fully stretched. However, this is how I usually like to hear, like to see my hair in this form. And this is if this is how you all usually see my hair when you I do live streams or when I take my hair down. And I always get asked, Ife, how do you stretch your hair? And this is what I do. Ife, do you get shrinkage? Yes, I do. And then after about four or five days of using a top knot stretch, this is what my hair tends to look like just before I'm ready to wash again. All right, so if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comment box below. And I hope it was helpful. And tell me, how do you stretch your hair?